Alright, so you have installed Backtrack and you want to get to the graphical user interface. But you ran into an error. The error you ran into is very common for first distros without any beta versions. So I will show you what to do. <coughs> Before you run anything, I want you to do this. Okay. Now this is all before you go into start X. You must do this before typing start X and the very first backtrack fiber will not boot. Next thing you need to do is that. Okay. It's already deleted because I've already done this. I'm just going through the commands. Then you need to do this. Then you need to do that. And then you need to do this. Now, type your start X. The reason for doing all that, backtrack, five, whoever was helping make it, the boot grub manager system in INITLDR. Um, usually what would happen is it would go here, and this one would never light up like it just did, and it would go back to your prompt asking you to telling you that there's an error actually with the MTMM file but as you can see now it's letting me boot directly the problem was it's caching stuff before it's actually booting so we deleted a couple cache files and it recreated its pixel DPI and resolution file in the XORG config thus letting you to boot We'll show you a couple things you need to do on backtrack before pen testing. First, you'll connect to a network. Looks like I didn't even have to start my network first. It did that for me. And then go to your console. And type app-get. Update. <coughs> and then let it do its thing. Now, put a dist for distro, and then type upgraded.
so that's how you install and upgrade and fix the error for Backtrack 5. Just came out. Um, the commands I showed you uh, wouldn't, they're uh, not just to fix one ACPI or AGP or VGA error for the video card. It actually does a lot of things, it rebuilds the whole bootloader. The way you remove it and ask itself to recreate it, just rebuilds it. Anyway, the next thing you're going to do is type cd pen test exploit framework 3. Now do svn update. There it goes, finally. What we're doing here is updating the Metasploit framework, kernel, and repository files. Uh, making sure that you're at the right addition to perform the newest attacks. Now, do MSF update. Try it all one word, sorry about that. You're gonna temporarily accept the cookie from them. And it uh it actually let you go up to the same revision number, but it's it updated a couple of uh well, I guess a fingerprint of that hex IPv version six number, whatever you wanna look it up as. Anyway, this is another Super Geese production. Information here should be used for educational purposes only. Supergeeks.com cannot be held liable for maneuvers or tricks learned here. Don't forget when you install Backtrack 5 and you incur an error, refer to this video if it's on the boot grub screen or the boot loader screen. You'll be able to fix many errors with the commands shown. Have a good one.